Welcome back to Science Maniatics, where we explore the secrets of science and the latest technological advancements. Today, we uncover a game that has taken the world by storm, Hi-Fi Rush. This rhythm-based action game, developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda Softworks, has caused a stir with its unique storyline and gameplay. While there are a variety of rhythm-based games out there, Hi-Fi Rush draws inspiration from several well-known titles. Some of the most notable examples include Guitar Hero, a popular rhythm-based game from the mid-2000s. Guitar Hero tasks players with using a guitar-shaped controller to play along with various rock and metal songs. By hitting the correct notes in time with the music, players earn points and advance through levels. Dance Dance Revolution, another classic rhythm-based game, Dance Dance Revolution challenges players to match their footwork to a series of arrows displayed on the screen. The game has spawned numerous sequels and spin-offs and is still popular in arcades and on home consoles today. Osu, a popular PC game that combines elements of rhythm-based gameplay and shooting games. In Osu, Players must hit a series of notes and targets on the screen in time with the music, while dodging incoming obstacles and enemies. While these games differ in terms of gameplay and style, they all share the common thread of using music and rhythm as a core mechanic. With Hi-Fi Rush, Tango Gameworks has taken this concept and expanded on it, creating a unique and engaging experience. According to multiple sources, Hi-Fi Rush has performed well in terms of sales, since its release on January 25th, 2023. As of the time of this video, it is the sixth best-selling game on Steam by Revenue, trailing only games like Hogwarts Legacy pre-sales and others. It has also been reported that Hi-Fi Rush is the highest currently released game on Steam's revenue charts, currently in fifth place. Additionally, despite the fact that Hi-Fi Rush was not released on PlayStation or Switch platforms, it managed to hit the top 10 sales chart for week four of 2023. While it is not entirely clear what specific games Hi-Fi Rush is being compared to, it is notable that the game has been received positively and is considered unique among AWA games. Inverse.com notes that Hi-Fi Rush is a reminder of how the gaming industry was built on taking chances and experimenting. The protagonist of the game is Chai, a 25-year-old aspiring rock star who volunteers for Project Armstrong, a test program for cybernetic limb replacement at Vandalay Technologies. However, what should have been a smooth process turns into a nightmare when Chai's music player is accidentally embedded into his chest. This incident causes him to feel a musical connection with his surroundings, making him a target for the corporation that transformed him. Chai bands together with new friends to defeat the company's executives and put a stop to their plans. In real life, people are connected to music in a variety of ways. One way is through the social and bonding aspects of music. Studies have shown that listening to music together, singing together, or playing music together can impact neurochemicals in the brain, which play a role in closeness and connection. Music can increase contact, coordination, and cooperation with others, and it may be particularly potent in bringing about social closeness through the release of endorphins. Additionally, people who are more sensitive to music reward tend to be more socially rewarded. Endorphins are natural chemicals produced by the body that are involved in regulating pain, stress, and pleasure. They are a type of neurotransmitter or messenger in the body that carries signals across the nervous system and attaches to the brain's reward centers, known as opioid receptors. Endorphins are released by the hypothalamus and pituitary gland in response to pain or stress, and they act as natural painkillers by blocking pain signals in the brain and creating a general feeling of well-being. Endorphins have many benefits, including helping to alleviate pain, reducing stress and anxiety, improving mood, and promoting feelings of pleasure and well-being. They are also known to help people cope with physical pain, moodiness, and symptoms of anxiety. Endorphins are sometimes confused with dopamine, another brain chemical that is involved in feelings of pleasure, but they are distinct chemicals that work in different ways in the brain. 
The game features licensed music from bands such as the Black Keys and Nine Inch Nails, and each division is based on a particular musical style. The environment, enemies, and Chai himself move to the beat, and timing buttons pressed right can lead to higher damage output and timing-based combo finishers. In addition to combat, the game also includes platform game elements and a system of upgrades to unlock new moves, abilities, and perks. Completing the game unlocks bonus features, such as the ability to revisit past levels and previously inaccessible areas, a new difficulty setting and rhythm tower, a survival mode similar to Bloody Palace from the Devil May Cry series. But that's not all. Hi-Fi Rush has a mysterious storyline that keeps players on their toes. What are the true intentions of the corporation that created Chai? How did Chai's music player become embedded in his chest? Who is Peppermint, the ally who communicates through a robotic cat? What is Spectra, and how is it used for mind control? Who is controlling Roxanne, the founder of Vandalay Technologies? We want to note that mind control is real and is a controversial topic. The Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, experimented with various techniques and programs related to mind control and psychological manipulation in the mid-20th century. One of the most well-known programs is Project MKUltra, which was a research program that ran from the 1950s to the early 1970s and involved experiments with drugs, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, and other methods to try to control human behavior and enhanced interrogation techniques. While the specific techniques and programs used in MKUltra are still not fully known, some of the drugs reportedly used in the program include LSD, mescaline, and other hallucinogens. It's also worth noting that the use of these methods and programs is highly controversial, and many of the details surrounding them are still shrouded in secrecy and controversy. One article from History.com reports that in 1977, Senator Edward Kennedy oversaw congressional hearings investigating the effects of MKUltra. Congress brought in a roster of ex-CIA employees for questioning, interrogating them about their involvement in the program. Another article from CBC News provides an overview of the MK Ultra program, which was a secret CIA project that funded mind control experiments on unwitting Canadians during the Cold War. The article states that victims and their families are still seeking recognition and justice, but it does not provide specific names of individuals who have come forward. A third article from Retrospect Journal reports that the U.S. government was first alerted to the prospect of communist use of mind control in 1949 during the trial of Hungarian Cardinal Minzentry, who was a known opponent to the communist regime. The article describes the history of the MK Ultra program, including the use of LSD and other mind-altering substances, but it does not mention specific individuals who have come forward. NPR discusses the role of a man named Sidney Gottlieb in the MK Ultra program. Gottlieb was a chemist who headed the CIA's Technical Services Division, which oversaw the use of drugs and other techniques for mind control experiments. The article reports that Gottlieb destroyed most of the records related to the program, making it difficult for victims to seek justice. The article does not mention specific individuals who have come forward. Listverse provides information about various individuals who were allegedly victims of MK Ultra experiments. One example is a woman named Candy Jones, who was a model and radio personality in the 1950s. According to the article, Jones claimed that she was used as a CIA spy and was subjected to mind control experiments, including the use of drugs. So what about what's under the hood? The game uses the Unreal Engine 4's PSO caching functionality to avoid large hitches. It is optimized for the Xbox Series XS Games Development Kit, which is designed to take advantage of the unique capabilities of the Xbox Series XS. It is also available for Windows, and its system requirements for Windows include a 64-bit processor and operating system, an Intel Core i5-6500 or Reason 3 1200 processor, and 8 GB RAM. Unreal Engine is a game engine developed by Epic Games that is widely used for developing video games and other interactive applications. The technology behind the engine includes artificial intelligence, AI, 
for creating believable AI entities within projects, which can be used to create AI for non-player characters. Additionally, Unreal Engine has a plugin called AirSim, developed by Microsoft, that allows AI researchers to train and test their autonomous vehicle algorithms in a safe, dynamic virtual environment. Furthermore, Unreal Engine has been optimized to work with NVIDIA GPUs, libraries, and APIs to take advantage of the latest features the engine introduced. While it is not explicitly stated whether Unreal Engine will use AI in the future, AI has become an increasingly important component in modern game development and AI research, and Unreal Engine is well positioned to incorporate new advancements in AI in the future. The Unreal Engine has been used in a variety of applications beyond video games. For example, the Future Group used Unreal Engine to create an interactive mixed reality platform, and the engine offers support for a range of design, engineering, and architecture software formats. Unreal Engine has also been used to create a virtual reality tool that renders 3D models of clothes and furniture for businesses across multiple industries. Additionally, Michigan-based company The Void has used Unreal Engine to power its interactive theme park experiences. Now let's turn to the thought-provoking questions that Hi-Fi Rush raises. What ethical considerations should we take into account when creating cybernetic enhancements for humans? Can music have a healing effect on humans? And if so, how do you believe so? What do you believe motivates large corporations to use unethical practices for their own gain? How important is timing in your daily lives, and how can we use it to our advantage? What role does teamwork play in achieving success, and how can you build strong alliances with those around you? Is there anything we can learn from Hi-Fi Rush, or is it a waste of time when there are bigger issues in the world? Thanks for watching Science Maniatics. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to discover more scientific marvels.